Referee Deck Larkin about to get this one underway. Three five-minute rounds if they need them in the Cage Warriors flyweight division. Ryan Hewitt in the grey and light blue. Jerry you Harris ready? You ready? You ready? in the this. pink and white. Quick tap of the gloves and we are underway. I've got to say, you know someone is hyped up, ready to go when their chest is literally <laughs> red <laughs> from just, beating it. I was thinking the same thing. Love to see it. Tries a body kick that immediately gets taken down to Hewitt. And Harris all over in here early. Straight into side control. Lots of energy in this cage here. So I expect to see him stand up immediately. He's trying to tie up this guillotine. And Got the arm in. I thought he was going to drop in, do an anaconda roll, but I don't want to be dropping in and on that position where I'm standing while everyone's dry. Huge crowd reaction here for Harris as he frames off the face and looks to get those shots going. Like I said, he's only in the gym about 14 months with us here at Team Rhino, and I just think he's a great addition to the gym. He helps out. Yeah, he, he's in every class, he, he asks questions, and the kid loves the fight. He certainly looks like he loves the fight tonight. He's already got Hewitt marked up under that eye, and another clattering right hand there. Our training in Portugal, I believe, with you, Paul, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, we were over there, we do this uh, like a summer training camp over there every year, the last 10, 12 years with Team Rhino. And he just took himself out of our training here, came over there, two sessions a day in the sun, eating clean. Um, it's a load off right, right before you come into fight week, finished up camp over there, and I, I think he looks he looked great over there. Clean left hand lands there from that southpaw stand, switches now, keeping Ryan Hewitt guessing. Hewitt taking nice damage hand. here. Couple of nice uppercuts. Great head position here, he's just not giving Hewitt an inch. Oh. Spinning back fist there. A bit of a clash of heads on the way in, accidental of course. Hewitt keeping his composure nicely though, he's firing back. Beautiful takedown there from Harris. Harris popping, uh, Hewitt's popping straight back to his feet, and he's got to be careful about giving up that bat position from the body lock. Nice wither with the right, wither with the right arm there. Yeah, look for Harris just to pop his hips forward here. And that wither was the only thing stopping Harris from coming round to the back here, and you can see now, back is exposed, there's grip fighting going on, he's going to try and soften him up with some strikes. Yeah, he's got to be careful here that... He, He's not too over eager in these positions. I would have liked him to see him slow things down there, get the right hook in, maybe get the second in and walk for the choke. I just think he's a little over eager to please his fans he, here. He does. Uh, there's a lot of energy uh, coming off of both these guys right now, but especially from Harris. Nice combinations from Hewitt here. Harris does have that big fight experience. He's he competed in a number of international tournaments as an amateur. Went eight and two before joining the pro ranks, lands another nice left there. Hewitt taking these shots like a champ. Yeah, and interestingly enough, the, the fight that he did lose a couple of months ago, he got cut, or, uh, I think uh, late last year, he got cut over the, in over his eye in our gym with a clash of heads. I think he needed about six or seven stitches across the eyelid before he went out the fight about ten days out. So your guy was going to be nervous and hesitant in a fight like that. And I'm not saying that's why he lost. I'm just saying that, 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 that that's what he went through when he went to that fight. Oh, big Hewitt left hook. Clicks him there. He's got to be careful. Beautiful left hand from Hewitt there. <laughs> Very much still in this fight is Ryan Hewitt. And the crowd trying to get behind Harris again now as he fires back. Nice combination from Hewitt. Yeah, I think that, that, that punch really uh, really landed on Alan Jay and um, he was on wobbly legs and went able to take down to slow things down here. I mean, it's been a frantic, completely frantic first round for both of these guys. Harris with the much more aggression, but Hewitt has been firing back in all of those standing exchanges. Oh, 
Tries that spinning elbow that time on the break. Last 10 seconds. Both guys had an elixir at the end of this round. Hewitt taking some big shots towards the end of that first frame, landing a couple as well. How's that for a round? Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Harris has used up a lot of that energy in that early three or four minutes. How much is he going to be taking into this second round? 24 years of age is Harris. A bright future ahead of him, regardless of the result here tonight. Takes a kick, but lands a left hand. This front team today to the quad. That left has been laser accurate so far in the second round. Yeah, and he does switch from cell part to orthodox quite well, and he can strike with both hands when he needs to. Stiff jab landed from Hewitt. with a head kick there does Harris Hewitt just taking them like a champ though beautiful body lock dragging his opponent to the ground here first time we've seen this fight properly on the floor yeah, Hewitt's got to be careful here he doesn't uh, turn up and go to turtle and give up his back here but Harris doing a good job of risk control and keeping him in this position said the majority of Hewitt's losses at amateur were by decision. He's yeah. not a man who's finished easily, and we're seeing that here tonight, but Harris giving it the best of his ability to try. Yeah, great position here from Harris on top for a second there with the Dagestani handcuff, uses it to try and take the back position. He's got one hook in, arm under the neck. The angle's all wrong for the back attack here, and Sonny Hewitt has to keep his back against the fence to stop Harris from coming around. And Harris is trying to, he's trying to slide between Hewitt's back and the fence. And he's got to be careful, he attacks the neck here, the angle's not on. But he can attack the neck and he can use this movement to try and expose more of the back and take it. Yeah, I don't think uh, the, the choke is right there in the position that Jerry's in. I mean, we just saw some recently where a similar position where the choke was sort of, it wasn't quite on, but it was enough to get the tap. I don't think it's going to be the case here. But if he, he can continue the squeeze on this neck, if he can get further round behind his opponent as he has this choke, and there he releases it. You see, I don't think Harris is the same way as Clancy Jr. <laughs> to, to, to put that on as a flyway. Hewitt able to get back to his feet here now. Got a lot of ground to make up, though. Hewitt now going for the takedown. Yeah, yeah. Has, in. has his hands clasped. And he gets the takedown. Let's see what he can do on top position here. Harris immediately getting his back up against the fence, trying to pop back to his feet. And we're only just at, uh, over the halfway mark here, so that there's plenty of time to work. Plenty of time to work here. Looks like Harris might be tying up a guillotine a little bit here. Yeah, I think, again, what we were talking about earlier on, you, you can extend your hips when your back is up against that cage in that position. I think there's better ways to go than trying to attack the neck from uh, from that seated position against the cage. I agree. Back to the feet, and now Harris looking for the takedown. A real back and forth in this round. 90 seconds left to play with in the second round. Ryan Hewitt. Joe Harris. I thought we were going to see number three uh, spinning back elbow yeah. attempt. <laughs> nice kick to the body there from Ryan Hewitt. There's the spinning back elbow. <laughs> I knew he wouldn't let me down. <laughs> You are answering back with a nice one two though. Calling his man on now is you it. Certainly not lacking confidence as the 30 year old. From the way Harris is standing, I think he's going to uh, do a big shot, a jab and a big shot for a takedown. Just because I think he's having so much success on the ground when he gets to that position. Defense! 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 
the game. Fighting in the phone booth. Big left hand from Jerry. And again. And here we're just pushing forward. We're going to see another last 15, 10 seconds like we did in that first round. Nice combination there from Hewitt. Big, beautiful uh, entry from Hewitt there, straight on, almost onto the back position. He's not going to have any time to use it. There it goes. That was really nice there from Hewitt. It was, wasn't it? Touch your gloves, and we come out for the third and final round. It. Just uncorking those hands a little bit early in the third here. Harris firing back. One thing we know about the flyweights is you're going to expect this pace to be maintained for the duration. Another nice shot from Harris there. Tries the head kick again. Yeah, I would like to see him set that up with a jab or a couple of feints rather than just throw it just straight off the gate. Hewitt's hands will be up, and that's where he's catching him. Hewitt on the hands. Beautiful combination there. Starting with the shot to the body. Folks, we are just 45 minutes away from our main card. Live on UFC Fight Pass and international broadcast partners, Paul Hughes, Yanka Hagens. Huge lightweight main event. This is just good, consistent, steady walk here from Jared in the third round here. I think he's doing just enough not to get himself in trouble, win the rep, well, win up to this point. Nice super cool. Yeah, Hewitt having a lot less uh, in terms of return fire in this round than he has in the previous two. I wonder whether we're going to see a shot from Hewitt at some point. If he keeps eating this damage, I think we might. Yeah, good hand here from Harris on the cage. Rattled the mouthpiece there, did Harris. Hewitt fires back with a leg kick, and you can see both legs of oh, Harris are marked up. I would have preferred Harris. Oh. And that's one of the takedowns I was talking about at the start before we even went into this. He does a weird standing Uchi mat and he jumps into it off a jab uh, and he catches people with it all the time. Amazing. I'm not oh, going to nice lie, he caught center. me with it as well. Elbows from the clinch. His body kick from Hewitt. Well, they are leaving it all in the cage, these two flyweights. Another nice combination from Harris, ending with the left. <coughs> Big right hand there from Har uh, Hewitt that just landed. Harris cannot rest on his laurels here. Hewitt's still got plenty of zip in those shots. And we don't know how, how the judges scored the other two rounds either. Both guys certainly have had their moments. And we will leave it to the judges to pick this one apart. Oh, great movement there from Harris, and he's on the neck. One headlock position here. Just don't jump the guillotine. Snap down if you're going to use that guillotine. Yeah, snap down, take a couple of steps back, sprawl again, and, and get, a, get here with my head right to the mat. Exactly. Good head position here from Harris. Right underneath, big, strong, uh, good posture. Just over a minute left to play with. I don't know what Hewitt was attempted there with double wrist control, but Harris just breaks away, catches the left hook on the way out. Well, I'll tell you what, this crowd is quite rightly partisan in favour of Harris, but Ryan Hewitt will have earned their respect by the time this final bell rings. Again, Hewitt able to 
come back to his feet. And he's stalking Harris around the cage now. Nice uppercut and a knee from the clinch. They separate again, and what a pace on this one. Harris still throwing. Big swing and a miss from Harris. He's hit on this single leg, I'd like to see him complete it. Tries for that final takedown, he's not going to get it. What a fight! Fantastic fight. Incredible scrap between Ryan Hewitt and Joe Harris. Yeah, both men absolutely leaving everything they had in the cage tonight. And a standing ovation here at Dublin's RDS. Harris thinks he's got it. He may well be right. The judges telling their scorecards at cage side. Gentlemen, after three rounds of mixed martial arts action, we go to our judges' scorecards. All three judges score this contest 30 27 in favor of your winner by way of unanimous decision in the red corner. GTA Salhanta Harris. Commiserations to Ryan Hewitt, but congratulations to Gerr Harris.